I've got an interesting egg video for you today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We do have a little homestead in my Southern Californian home. We have some chickens and we've gotten some interesting eggs that I am, I just can't wait to crack open and see what's inside and, and show you guys the differences and stuff. But before we get to that, let me show you this very interesting and squishy egg we actually got a few months ago. This type of egg is really common when it is the chicken's very first egg that they've ever laid. And this came from one of our black hens that we raised from the baby stage. We found this very squishy, soft shelled egg in the middle of our chicken coop. And I just had to bring it inside and break it open, even though we didn't really have to break it open. I just kind of peeled the soft shell apart and a somewhat normal looking yolk and egg white came out. Now, because of the shell being so soft, I didn't feel comfortable feeding this to my family. <laughs> so I went ahead and just gave it back to the chickens. And you might actually be surprised, but chickens love eating their own eggs. <laughs> they love the yolk. We feed them back, you know, hard boiled eggs. You can scramble eggs and they just go crazy for it. So we've actually been getting like so many eggs that we're selling some to our neighbors. And typically I sell the ones that look like normal to them. So occasionally we get eggs like that have little bumps on them and I save those for us. This could tell us that the chicken is stressed or they have too much calcium in their diet or some other factors. So I have some weird looking ones here. I also don't sell our smaller eggs. These come from our black chickens and uh, they're just, you know, a little bit smaller. This one's probably a little larger than usual. I don't know. They're just a little bit tinier and we've had some neighbors when I did put them like in the little boxes to sell them, they were like, oh, you know, there's a lot of small eggs. There really wasn't that many, but you know, compared to some of the larger eggs that we get, it is a substantial difference. But the eggs that I am so excited to crack open are a massive egg that may have an egg inside of it and a, what is called a fairy egg. It goes by other names like a fart egg, like a, a cock meaning rooster egg. I don't know, there, there's some other names, but it is this tiny little one that's smaller than a ping pong ball. And then this extremely large egg that could very well like fit a whole nother egg inside. And I've seen other people crack open eggs like this and just have like a whole nother egg in its own shell come out along with some egg white. Now the reason for fairy eggs, sometimes the chickens just have, maybe they're under a lot of stress, maybe something's happening with their reproductive cycle. Uh, th there's not necessarily one, ex you know, one reason why this happens. Sometimes eggs get stuck and the chickens can be egg bound and they finally, you know, get rid of this odd shaped egg. This could also be a result of an egg bound chicken where the egg is kind of stuck and then here it forms another egg over the existing egg. Thankfully, the chickens got these out because if you are unaware, chickens only have like one hole. It's called their vent. And that's where everything comes out, their poop, the eggs, like everything. So if an egg is stuck and they can't get it out, that means other things are gonna be building up in their system. And if a chicken is egg bound, they could die within 48 hours because they're not flushing their system of all the other bad stuff. So that is definitely a problem that you want to fix if you're a chicken owner. So these are the ones that I'm excited to crack open for you guys today. Aubrey just asked me for some scrambled eggs, so it's the perfect time to just, you know, use these eggs. Okay, I got my little towel here to keep them from rolling all around, but for context, this is like an average egg for us. This is the ginormous egg that fits in my man hand. Like, my hands are bigger than Juan's, my husband. 
I have very large hands. I'm a tall person, so that's a very large egg. And then we have our little fairy egg. And then also in comparison to what I would consider like one of our smaller eggs from our other hens. So I'm gonna set aside the somewhat normal eggs. This one also, like I mentioned, it has some little spots on it, little, what I think they call pimples, little dots. That could just indicate some stress from our birds. And then for other reference, again, like this could indicate some stress or just that they have too much calcium in their diet. But the egg itself is still good to eat in this case. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this big guy open. I'm really hoping it's like an egg and an egg. I think that'd be really interesting. The thing that makes me think it's an egg and an egg is the fact that there's like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's just like a little bit of like extra bulge right here and it just looks like it took some extra time to form. I don't know. It just looks interesting. So let's go ahead and crack this open. I have had one other one that was this big and it was just a regular egg that was ginormous. So we will see. The moment of truth. Oh, how cool. Double yolk. That was my other guess. I have gotten one double yolk in the past. So that's exciting. That was cool to witness. So that was another guess of mine that I just forgot to mention. So like we had a yolk, it didn't get formed like with a shell over it and maybe another yolk came out and then the shell finally formed around that. So we got two egg yolks here, which is gonna be perfect because I really doubt there's going to be an egg yolk in this little guy. And I'll crack this in its own bowl just to kind of see maybe the difference in case there is something else in there besides egg white. I gotta say though, I'm a little bummed the other one was a double yolk and not like an egg and an egg. I think that one's even more rare. All right, let's see if I can get a nice clean crack from this teeny tiny thing. Got the little crack. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was so hard to open. Um, all right, well, we got an egg white that looks like a yolk really interesting because like it's clear and it looks like a yolk maybe it was just not gonna form I don't know but there you go those are our two weird eggs <laughs> from our hens so I'm gonna go ahead and scramble these up for Aubrey I did mention though in the past I have gotten one other egg from our hens that was like a double yolk and it was from, I'm pretty sure, kind of, I'm learning which chickens make what kind of eggshells. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the meat chicken that we have, who's, I call her, like she's the sister of the rooster that we had. And for those of you who are new here, we named our rooster Useless. So I always kind of joke that like, Chickadee, which is Useless's sister, might have been trying to make up for the fact that, you know, she had a useless brother. So. Uh, that was the only other time that I've gotten a double yolk. So this is fun today to see that come out of that big shell. And if you guys are new here, we do have other like chickens that we've been raising from the baby stage, from the little baby chicks. One of my previous videos, I showed you guys kind of our new chicken coop. It had a couple more things that needed to be done to it, but we have some extra chickens that won't start laying until probably September but four of them will lay blue eggs. They're called Easter eggers. And then two of them will lay white eggs and two will lay brown eggs. So we'll have a more like of a rainbow dozen coming from our hens. So stay tuned for those beautiful eggs coming in the fall. I will, I'm so excited just to have just the different colors. Uh, before I was interested in getting chickens, I had no idea that there are some chickens that lay blue or, or green or dark, dark brown eggs. And getting chickens has been a fun experience. I am not much for having like pets just to have pets, but these are purposeful pets and it works out because my daughter is in love with birds. So she's out there right now playing with them, having a grand old time. And you know, you've seen in multiple videos, if you've been here a while, her just holding the birds and singing and just having, having a blast. So they are working well for our family. 
I am in no way an expert on having chickens. There's a lot of things that I'm still learning, uh, how to take care of them, what, what are the best products to use. But if you guys have questions about what it's like, I can try my best to answer, you know, based on my experience or I'll let you guys know, like, I really, I don't know this yet. It's something I'm looking into and this is what I've found so far. But drop those questions down below in the comments. And if you guys like this video and liked seeing that double yolk come out, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'd love it if you stick around and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.